On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the cross, the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the cross, the old rugged cross, and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. Good morning and welcome back. Again, thank you so much for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you taking the time today to worship your God and to join us here in this worship service. It's so wonderful to have you here. I appreciate all the good feedback I'm getting. God bless you all and thank you for being here. Please, today, take, take a moment to pray for those who are sick, for those who have lost loved ones. This has, been, this has been a rough time and it's hit us all pretty hard. Please remember those in your prayer. Remember those who are in harm's way in your prayers and remember our country in your prayers. This morning, we'll have our same worship service as we always have. We'll have a couple of songs of praise, a song to get us ready to take the Lord's Supper. We'll, we'll have the Lord's Supper. We'll have another song of praise, a lesson, and then another song of praise, and an opening and closing prayer. Thank you again for being here. I really, I really can't express how much it's appreciated that you're here watching today, and again, you're to be commended because you've taken this opportunity to worship your God. Before we begin, would you bow with me in prayer? Father, we come before you this morning in thanksgiving. We thank you for this opportunity of worship, this opportunity of study. We thank you for allowing us to be here and to do this. This morning, Father, we ask that you be with those that are sick or afflicted, that you heal those as it is your will, that you comfort those who have lost loved ones, Please be with all those in harm's way, our military, law enforcement, first responders. Please be with them and protect them, Father, as they do their job to keep us safe and secure. Please, God, be with the leaders of this country. Be with this country. Allow it, Father, to realize that without you, we are nothing. Lord, we ask your forgiveness. We ask your blessing upon this worship service. We're doing what we can, and we ask a blessing upon it that it be right in your eyes that the things that we do please you. Thank you, Father God, for being our God. Thank you for Jesus, your Son. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Again, thanks so much for being here. We'll begin our worship service now. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wondered how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. For me it was in the garden, he prayed not my will but thine. He had no tears for his own griefs, but sweat drops of blood for mine. Oh, how marvelous. 
marvelous, oh how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. Oh how marvelous, oh how wonderful, is my Savior's love for me. In pity angels beheld him, and came from the world of light. To comfort him in the sorrows he bore for my soul that night. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. He took my sins and my sorrows, He made them His very own. He bore the burden to Calvary, and suffered and died alone. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. When with the ransomed in glory, His face I at last shall see, T'will be my joy through the ages to sing of His love for me. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. Oh, how marvelous, oh, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. As I travel through life with its trouble and strife, I've a glorious hope to give cheer on the way. Soon my toll will be o'er, and I'll rest on that shore where the night has been turned into day. Up in the beautiful paradise valley by the side of the river of river of life. Up in the valley, the wonderful valley, we'll be free from all pain and all pain and all strife. There we shall live in the rose-tinted garden, neath the shade of the evergreen, evergreen tree. How I long for the paradise, paradise valley, where the beauty of heaven I'll heaven I'll see. As I roam the hillside, or I list to the tide, as I pluck the sweet flowers that grow in the dale, a faint picture is there of a land bright and fair, where perennial flowers ne'er fail. Up in the beautiful paradise valley, by the side of the river of river of life. Up in the valley, the wonderful valley, we'll be free from all pain and all strain and all strife. There we shall live in the rose tinted garden, neath the shade of the evergreen tree. Evergreen tree. How I long for the paradise valley, paradise valley, where the beauty of heaven I'll see. I'll see. Though your garden is rare, it is not to compare with the flowers that bloom in the garden above. In the midst of it grows Sharon's perfect sweet rose. Tis the wonderful flower we love. Up in the beautiful paradise valley, by the side of the river, the river of life. Up in the valley, the wonderful valley, we'll be free from all pain and all strain and all strife. There we shall live in the rose-tinted garden, neath the shade of the evergreen, evergreen tree. How I long for the paradise, paradise valley, where the beauty of heaven I'll see. Heaven I'll see. my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he 
arose, he arose with a mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose, he arose, a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, he arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Vainly they watch him. Jesus, my Savior, vainly they seal the dead, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, he arose with a mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose, he arose a victory from the dark domain, and he lives forever with the saints to reign. He arose, he arose, he arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Death cannot keep his prey, Jesus my Savior. Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, he arose with a mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose, he arose, a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, he arose. He arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. This morning, we'll be reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the last, chi- the last chapter, the final chapter of that Gospel. Chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He's not here, for he has risen. As he said, Come and see the place where he lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. This is Matthew's account of the resurrection of Jesus the Christ following his crucifixion. Isaiah 53 prophesied of this sacrifice of Jesus the Lamb. Jesus, before he died, asked us to do what we're about to do, and that's remember him. And the way he asked us to remember him was to take bread, to commemorate his body, and to take the fruit of the vine, commemorate the blood that he shed for us. And when we did it, to remember him, remember what he did. And what he did, brothers and sisters, was to reconcile us back to him, to cleanse us of our sin, to give us a way out from evil. It's the only way that it could have been. It had to be. Later on in our lesson today, we'll we'll study more about that. But right now we need to take a moment to forget this world and forget everything that's going on around us and to remember Jesus Christ our Lord and His great sacrifice. I'll ask the blessing for the bread and for the cup. And following that, there'll be a brief pause. And please, reflect on those things that Jesus did for us. Reflect on His his brutal beating and His crucifixion that was all for our sake, that was all so that we could be reconciled back to our God. Would you bow with me now as I ask the blessing for the bread and for the fruit of the vine? This morning, Father, we come before you in thanksgiving. 
We thank you so very much for this bread, the representation of that precious body who was so cruelly beaten and hung on that cross. We thank you, Father, for this fruit of the vine, this representation of that precious blood that was shed so freely to cleanse us of our sins. Thank you so much for being our God and for remembering us, your children, and remembering that we needed a way out, that we needed the ultimate sacrifice to be reconciled back to you, our God. We thank you for this opportunity. We ask that you keep our minds clear with the exception of Jesus the Christ and what he did. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Oh, the rock tis a cleft and a strong, sure defense From the dark gathering tempest so threatening and dense In the rock we are safe, we will suffer no fear But in peace that is changeless we rest sweetly here For the Lord is our rock, for the Lord is our rock and is mighty and strong, and is mighty and strong, and in him we are safe, and in him we are safe. He's our help and our song, he's our help and our song. In the rock we will rest, till the storms all are past. He will guide through the gloom, he will guide through the gloom, till the light dawns at last, dawns at last. Oh, the rock safely shields from the foes that surround, though the perils are many and tempters abound. In the rock, all secure from all harm, we abide. Since he shields us and keeps us, no ill can be tied. For the Lord is our rock, for the Lord is our rock, and is mighty and strong, and is mighty and strong. And in him we are safe, and in him we are safe. He's our help and our song, he's our help and our song. In the rock, In the rock we, will rest, we will rest, till the storms, till the storms all are past. Are past. He will guide through the gloom, he will guide through the gloom, till the light dawns at last, dawns at last. Dawns at last. Oh, the rock, blessed rock, what a calm, blessed retreat. We will rest in the shade, all secure from the heat. In the rock we're contented, we're happy and free. Sinner, flee for thy life, oh, tis this refuge flee. For the Lord is our rock, for is our Lord is our rock. And is mighty and strong, and is mighty and strong. And in him we are safe, and in him we are safe. He's our help and our song, he's our help and our song. In the rock, In the rock 
we will rest, we will rest till the storms, till the storms all, are all are past. He will guide through the gloom. He will guide through the gloom till the light dawns at last. Dawns at last. Dawns at last. This morning we'll begin our lesson with the reading of Isaiah 53. If you care to read along, I'll begin at the first verse. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of the dry ground. He has no form of comeliness, and when we see him, there's no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation for he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. And they made his grave with the wicked. But with the rich at his death. Because he had done no violence. Nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, by righteous servant, shall justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bore the sin of many. And made intercession of the transgressors. Now over in the letter to the Hebrews, we're going to begin reading there today in the ninth chapter at verse 24 and following. For Christ has not entered the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Not that he should offer himself often as the high priest enters the most holy place every year with the blood of another. He then would have had to suffer often since the foundation of the world. But now, once at the end of the ages, he has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is appointed for men once to die, but after this to judgment, so Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. For the law having a shadow of the good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never, with these same sacrifices, which they offer continually year by year, make those who approach perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, for the worshippers once purified would have had no more consciousness of sins. But in those sacrifices, there is reminder of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. Therefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come in the volume of the book, as is written of me, to do your will, O God. 
Previously saying, Sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for sin you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them which are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. By that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest stands ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. From that time waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. Now, in Romans, beginning at chapter 8, We'll read from chapter 8. We'll start at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, or persecution or famine, or nakedness or peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sleep, sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This morning I, I looked at these verses because... Well, we, we need so very much to go back and review what was done for us. To go back and remember that we no longer need to do yearly sin sacrifices and, 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 and this kind of thing. We, we don't have to do that anymore because that didn't suffice. As we read in Hebrews, the blood of bulls and goats just didn't do it. Sin was always still there. It took a perfect sacrifice. It took Jesus Christ. Isaiah tells us just exactly how it went. That Jesus was arrested, falsely accused, brutally beaten, and hung on a cross. That's in Matthew, the 27th chapter. And they killed him. And then as we read in the 28th chapter for the Lord's Supper, He raised again. He rose up and walked among men and then ascended to heaven. And He'll be back. He'll be back for you and me. But for those who do not have Him, they'll be left. The judgment will be those without Christ meeting God and those with Christ meeting God. There's no earthly reason to not meet your Maker in Christ Jesus. Hearing the Gospel, which is Jesus Christ lived died, and raised again for our sins. Believing that gospel with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Repenting of the way you live. And then being buried with Him in baptism. Raised up in a newness of life. That's what we're about. That's what this is all about. That's what we got done reading just now is that all that was done so that we, when we cast off this earthly body, this tent, can be with our God forever. 
thank you so much for being here. You know, at the beginning of this is my email and my telephone number. If you have a need, if there's, if there's, you just need to talk, feel free. Email me, call me. We'll talk. We'll discuss this. Please, don't wait. If you do not yet have Jesus Christ, don't wait. Time is short. Ask anybody that's lived past years of 60, and they'll tell you how short time is. It goes so quick. Don't be caught without Jesus Christ when your time comes. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your being here with me to worship our God. Now, before we close, let's have a final prayer to our God. Would you bow with me? Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to study from your word and to worship you. We praise you, our God, so very much for being our God and for giving us a way out from this evil world, a way out from sin. Be with us, Father, as we go through this week. Allow us to be bright and shining lights. Allow us, Father, to be ready to answer anyone who asks us why we have such hope. Thank you for being our God. Thank you so much for Christ Jesus, your Son. We ask, Father, for your forgiveness. We ask this prayer in his name. Amen. Again, thanks for being here. We'll go ahead and have this closing song, and that'll be it for our worship today. God bless you all. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never sound retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Our God is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea. With a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us live to make men free. While God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. While God is marching on. Savior, lead me lest I stray. Lead me lest I stray. Gently lead me all the way, all the way. I am safe when by thy side, by thy side. I would in thy love abide. Lead me, lead me, Savior, lead me lest I stray, lest I stray. Gently down the stream of time, stream of time. Lead me, Savior, all the way. Thou the refuge of my soul. When life's stormy billows roll, 
I am safe when thou art safe when thou art nigh. All my hopes on thee rely. Lead me, lead me, Savior, lead me, lest I.